welcome back to my channel ASMR with Neve, and welcome if you're new here today we're in a completely different place this is my living room um, and that's because we're going to be doing some pumpkin carving today obviously Halloween is right around the corner so I'm going to be carving this pumpkin to put on my doorstep for Halloween with a little tea light in it I just want to also apologise about the whole live stream scenario. I literally went to live stream like half an hour before I said, and it said I couldn't do it. And then I didn't know if people would watch it if I did it the next day, because obviously that's not my usual upload. So what I think I'm going to do is just try and do it this Tuesday. So if you see a notification like ASMR with Neve has gone live, that is my 1000 sub live stream. I will post about it in my community tab, so just keep your eyes, pe eyes peeled for that. So, pumpkins. I got this big boy from Sainsbury's. I love him. Um, sorry about these awkward ankles, but I had to try and fit the pumpkin in as well as myself. And um, the fire's on behind me. I wanted to create a bit of a cozy vibe, so yes got some tools to help me out today. I've got this little knife and I've also got this big knife um, because I remember I carved pumpkins with my housemates last year and I remember needing both a big knife and a small knife and then I've also got this spoon and another spoon for carving out the insides and I do have a bowl to put any wastage away in. So I'm gonna just start by like sticking in the knife and trying to make his head um come off his little little head god this is so hard i forgot how hard this is it's really hard to do it in a perfect circle because obviously knives aren't circular like they're not bent they're straight Oh, he had a little sticker on him. Take that off now. Carving pumpkin. I also didn't realise how cheap pumpkins were. This was literally £1.50 and it's huge. So that's nice at least. Because I thought that it would be more. Also, I do have a skylight and it's raining quite hard. So if you can hear rain, that's what that is. Um, I really like the sound of rain. So hopefully some of you will too. And also I probably won't be whispering for this whole video. It's definitely going to be more soft spoken vibes. Because as you can see, this is quite stressful. That was easier than I remembered though. And then I'm just going <laughs> to cut off <laughs> and pop it into my little bowl. Okay, so I've just moved you down. So I'm sorry. So you can't see my face but I just think it's better for for pumpkin purposes you know I think this is what we need to do there we go look at it go so we've got this this is the situation at the moment he also needs a wash I think I should have done that before I'm so bad at this guys um so yeah I've got his little lid so we need to keep this because this is his hat obviously and he needs to wear it when he's got his little tea light in him. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut off the sort of weird bits. And you know, if there's any big drastic cuts in this video, just know that it's probably because something went wrong or the audio was too loud and I had to cut it out. But at the end of the day, at the end of this video, you're going to be seeing gorgeous pumpkin. I can promise you that. Because I'm determined. The thing is as well, I'm not even in on Halloween. I'm at work. And I finish at about 8pm. So by the time I'm home, like most of the children will have already been trick-or-treating. Um, but my mum will be in, so she can give them some sweets. So this is the inside of the pumpkin, sort of, this is a situation. 
I'm just going to start with this. I remember last year I did eventually end up using my hands, but um, I'm not going to start with the hands because I feel like that is what you do when you get to the end of your peril and you just can't take it anymore. But for now, I'm having a good time with my little pumpkin. Well, he's quite big actually. I don't know why I picked such a big one. I'm so, um, what's the word? Ambitious. I'm so ambitious when it comes to these things. And then I, I actually start doing them and I realise what a fool I am. Because I'm no, I'm no pumpkin connoisseur. Oh my goodness. How are all your days going? What are your Halloween plans? Are you going trick or treating? Are you going to a Halloween party? Are you just staying in with the lights off? I know that's what a lot of people like to do. Because I feel like answering the door to children is quite nice at first. But when, if you have too many, it's just like, oh, I don't want to keep standing up. Especially if you're like, I don't know, trying to watch a film or something. I am working like all weekend, so that's annoying. But then we get to dress up um, on the Saturday, on the day before Halloween. Um, I don't know if I will, but I'm allowed to. So the option is there for me. It's just whether I take it or not. That's the question. Oh, look at that. seen any other um, pumpkin carving ASMR videos to be honest and there might be a reason for that this might have been the most terrible idea you've ever seen but we can just have a chat whilst I do this um, I became a manager at my work this week so I've been doing some manager shifts and they've been going really well so that's nice I get to wear my own clothes and I actually just filmed a um, fashion haul video of the clothes I bought from Manchester so you'll be seeing that soon um, next week I imagine um, so that's exciting and I love buying clothes so that was great and to be honest I just wanted to spend money um, on work clothes so that I could feel good whilst I was at work like I know it's like oh you're spending money to go like you're spending the money you've just earned to go and buy clothes to go to work but I will obviously wear them outside of work as well so it's not like it's just work you know oh my god this is so hard so in my Halloween facts video we obviously learned that um they used to use, um, what's it called, turnips, potatoes, beets, was it, as pump as jack-o'-lanterns, so they didn't use pumpkins, and I cannot imagine carving a potato right now, I think that would be so, so difficult, I'm struggling with this, to be honest, does anyone else feel like pumpkins smell a bit? I really don't like the smell of them. <laughs> I just, I think there's something off. It smells weird in here. <gasps> oh my god, what's that film? James and the Giant Peach. This is reminding me of James and the Giant Peach, where all the little animals live inside the peach. I feel like they could live inside this pumpkin because it's so big and juicy. Do you know what's really annoying as well? Um, I'm getting pumpkin on the floor and my mum's going to be so annoyed at me because the floor was clean today and look at me just ruining it straight away. Oh my god. I'm getting there. I really am. They're just so stringy, aren't they? Stringy, stringy. Let me know if you've carved a pumpkin this year and if so, face? Did you do a character or a ghost or something? So I'm doing quite well I think. Um, 
nearly at the point where I can carve out his face, which I am very much looking forward to. Right, I don't think I can do any more scraping of the house inside, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and move on and start with his face now. So I think I'm going to go with this side for his face, and I think I'm just going to go for it and just start cutting it really. Maybe I should draw. So we're gonna go with some triangular eyes, I think. I think it's so much easier to do any shapes that have straight lines um, because obviously the knife is straight edge because when I did Mike Wazowski it was a lot of curves and I'm not going to lie it was really difficult <gasps> oh my god look <gasps> he's got an eye just one eye satisfying is when it just comes out like that. Wow. Oh my god, I love him. He looks so grumpy. I'm not going to lie, he's not going to be perfect, but I love him anyway. Look at his little face. Oh my god, he looks so weird. I love it. Look at his little teeth. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a little nose. He's got a little nose. Oh my god, I love him so, so much. I'm not going to lie, like, oh, his teeth wonky. Yes. Look at them, of course. But I think he's so cute. And then I'm just going to do some eyebrows. I made him look so weird. Why did I do that? He looks so bizarre now. I don't think I can fix this. I think this is how he's going to have to be for the rest of his life. I'm so sorry, little guy. This definitely looks like a child has done it, but that is okay with me. So this is what he looks like with his little hat on. And now I'm going to put a lantern in him. So that we can see what he's going to look like on my doorstep. I just had to light this on the hob because I couldn't find any matches, but there we go. guy that is the end of my pumpkin carving and I'm really happy about it because I don't think I want to carve a pumpkin again it's really hard and I think what was stressful about it was trying to be quiet but he would not let me be quiet because his insides were so tough to get out 
but yeah I'm gonna put this pumpkin on my doorstep tomorrow I hate the eyebrows um, but sometimes in life things happen and that's okay so should we give him a tap I'm so sorry for this chaotic video. Um, hopefully it's salvageable. Hopefully I've done some amazing editing and this is just going to be an amazing video. But we will see about that. Um, I will see you next week with my fashion haul and hopefully a live stream. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So thank you so, so, so much for watching this video and me and this little guy. We'll see you.